I'm Jeff with LDV and today we're going to go through the electrical system on your 20 foot MT55 franchise truck starting with the location of all the electrical co components. We're starting with the electrical panel which is in the overhead right above the driver's seat. You'll find the charger, the inverter, and the combiner underneath the display shelves here, display drawers on the driver's side of the truck. Um, there is a velcro panel here that you pull off. And then on the left side here you'll find the charger, the battery charger. Um, down on the ground you'll find the inverter. And then on the right side here you'll find the combiner. You'll find the shore power inlet on the passenger side of the truck, right above the passenger side tire. The auxiliary batteries are located in the battery box on the driver's side rear of the truck. Now at the panel above the, the driver's seat you'll notice there's a, a voltmeter on the left side here. Um, if you switch it, you'll see the auxiliary battery voltage and then the chassis batteries. And then moving into the DC section of the, the panel, um, you'll see, notice overhead lights. That breaker's for the overhead lights. Then you have two for shelf lights, one for the driver's side, one for passenger side. The monitor, that's for the rear, the monitor in the truck. The fans, there's three fans in the truck. So this has to be on and then you can control the fans from a, a switch at them. And then the PRV is the power roof vent, uh, exhaust fan in the rear of, of the truck. Moving to the AC side of the panel, this only works when you're plugged into shore power. You'll need to have the AC main switch on for any of these other breakers to work. So then the battery charger will charge your batteries overnight when you're plugged in. This outlet breaker is for the white outlets in the truck. The block heater breaker is for the block heater on the engine of the truck. The rear air breaker is for the rear air conditioning unit, the roof unit in the truck, and then there's also a spare breaker unit. All right, so back here at the inverter, um, the yellow box underneath the, the driver's side VersaFlex drawers. So the purpose of the inverter is to take, take the 12 volt power from the batteries and convert it into 110 for your, um, for your orange outlets that power your computer and printer, um, or it can also be used for a DVD player as well. Um, some little little tips here. If you see um, if you see the power save light, if you see that lit up right next to power save, to get it out of power save, um, and this comes if you do not for a, a period of in inactivity of, of pulling power from the unit, um, you just turn the unit off and then turn it back on. And then when you turn the unit back on, turn it off again when all the lights are on. And basically, the goal would be to get that power save light um, off as well. And uh, if you have any further questions on this, you can see the Tech Tips Help Sheet on our website. Another item to check if you don't have power at your orange outlets would be to unplug the extension cords and just make sure that the GFI outlet is not tripped. You can just reset it by pushing the button in, just like any outlet in your house. In regards to the combiner on the truck, the purpose of that is to charge the auxiliary batteries on the truck from the alternator from the engine, engine of the truck while you're running your route. You'll find a, a switch here, a rocker switch on the dash um, with three positions. There's on, auto, and off. Um, so with the unit off, the auxiliary batteries will not charge. Um, if you have it locked in on, they'll continuously charge. Um, really the only reason you do this is if you came out to your truck and you lost power um, or if the all batteries were, were really dead um, or you could start the truck off of the auxiliary batteries if there is charge in them um, with this as well but our recommended position is to leave it in the auto position right in the middle and the combiner will charge the batteries off the alternator as needed now that we're at the battery box you'll find that there are two main breakers in the box up front this one here is for the inside power, and then there's also one up back farther up top for the lift gate. Um, this is really to be reset if you in, it, in an emergency situation if you need to cut the power to the inside of the truck quickly. So to do this, you just push in this red breaker, and you'll see that black tab pop out towards you. And then to reset it, you just push it back in just like that. And that's how you reset the main breaker to the inside power of the truck. And the same thing with the lift gate would be the same way. And then as far as the batteries themselves, they come with a battery watering kit in them. You'll find the, the hand pump in your workstation in the truck. And then to, to fill your, your batteries with distilled water, plug in 
into the hand pump and then put your other other end of the pump in your distilled water and just keep pumping the uh, the bulb until the uh, until the bulb gets hard and, and then each cell will fill up with distilled water and for more information on this you can see the video on our YouTube page and a website all right so back at the shoreline in shore power inlet on the right above the passenger side front tire um, we'll go through plugging in your truck so first you want to grab your your pigtail here this is a 30 amp 110 volt system I'm going to open it up align the, the pigtail and, and screw it on and then plug it into your extension cord and what you'll notice that there is a light on that, that says you have power um, and we recommend plugging in under no load uh, meaning that the AC side of the, the breaker panel every breaker is turned off um, preventing burning up of the pigtail um, we also recommend plugging in every single night so now that we are plugged into shore power you can come inside the truck and now you can start turning on the breakers just a reminder the AC main breaker has to be on for any of these other breakers to work so you can plug in turn the AC main on and the battery charger on and any of the other breakers as needed and that is your tutorial through your electrical system on the MT55 franchise truck.